My first asthma attack is easily the most terrifying moment of my life. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't breathe, and I had no idea why. I was being rushed to the hospital, uh, and the whole time, I just, like, could barely take even the smallest of breaths. Uh, when I got there, they put this mask over my face and told me to keep breathing the best that I could. Uh, about 20 minutes later, I was completely fine. Uh, and they sent us home with uh, a more home version of the breathing thing, with some little vials of medicine, and a little puffer thing. About a week later, after I had gotten everything set up with the school nurse, uh, they asked me if I had a computer at home, and when I said yes, they handed me this little green cardboard case with a game in it. So this is a really obscure game. Uh, basically, unless you were a kid with asthma in the late 90s, you've probably not heard of it. Have you heard of it? Uh, but since then, they have made the game completely playable within browser at home. So, let's do this. The game starts with a newscast about how our main villain, Ergon, is plotting to plant asthma triggers throughout the world, and misinformation about asthma to prevent children with asthma from managing their breathing deficiency. <laughs> Close the window. <laughs> Someone was smoking in the house. You don't have much time. Too many asthma triggers out there. Chuck does this everywhere. What? Officials warn everyone to be on alert until authorities can further evaluate the... <laughs> Mucus Aragon has placed a time asthma deployer containing dangerous amounts of asthma triggers at a remote location. If this asthma deployer is set off, the entire world will experience a major catastrophe. But what may prove to be the greatest threat is Aragon's ultimate plan, to convince kids that they can't manage their asthma. <laughs> Holy smokes. I didn't fully register until just now how evil this actually is. To convince kids that they can't manage their asthma. I mean, the man is targeting asthmatic children. I'm not sure what they did to even deserve a nemesis. What sort of threat do uh, children who sometimes can't breathe even pose? However, it is a breath of fresh air uh, compared to just simply world domination. Breath of fresh air. Yeah. Hold up. What is this? This isn't it. But it is. What happened? Where's the scary like 3D CG that I remember? So this actually is the game. They basically reused the voice acting and kept some of the old CG uh, animated sequences, but for the most part gave the whole game a complete makeover with a much more appealing and approachable 2D art style, which, when educating children, is probably the way to go. I had to learn from this! Look at this! This is terrifying! I don't know- What? Boop. Yeah, that is- Cat poop. Cat poop? What I mean, what sort of like scare tactic were they going with in teaching kids about asthma? Are you ready to learn? A is for apple. B is for bear. C is for cat. You start off by matching asthma triggers to where you can find them around the home. Once that's done, you can take a tour of the lungs. Next is the real meat of the game, taking on each of the asthma trigger themed villains. Each one is basically a quiz of something you recently learned from the game. But you have motive. Aragon wants to take your breath away, but you won't let him. There are two villains in particular that are real eyebrow raisers. The first is Chakita, who states her mission as Today's lesson is about the different devices you use to take your asthma medicine. If you don't use the devices correctly, 
The medicine will go deep into your lungs and you won't be able to control your asthma. And that's what I want. <laughs> now be a good teacher's pet and look at the board here. You caught that, right? She states that she doesn't want kids with asthma to know things about asthma. And then proceeds to give you a lesson in how to maintain asthma! She would have been more successful had she not said anything. I don't know what happened. I followed the lesson plan. I did my homework. I tried to look at this from every possible angle. Oh, mucus, I've never failed anything in my life. Oh, this is a sad, sad day. <laughs> Poor Chalk Tisha. She's just a chalk dust memory to me now. The second villain isn't actually the villain herself, but in fact Cuba Gooding Jr.'s introduction to this villain. Her humor is witty. Be sharp and you will defeat her. And good looking, so tell her I said hello. Now go! Okay, Cuba. Yeah, I'll get right on that. I'll be sure to tell the perfume-based villain that you think she's hot. Hey there. Do you like, uh... Pokemon? Because you're looking kind of misty. Having fun? Alright. So you defeat all the trigger-based villains, collect all the pieces, and defeat Aragon. When I was 10, this was really satisfying. Now, less so. Granted, this game is targeted towards asthmatic children. I am no longer an asthmatic child. So, it just didn't really connect with me this time around. But when I was 10, I was invested. I was determined to save my breathless brethren. This all does relate to something that is very important to me, being able to play with little gamers, which sometimes my asthma does get in the way of. I have to cut fun short sometimes because I can't catch my breath. Uh, However, this was a great refresher for me to like be more conscious about allergy seasons and when to have my inhaler on me and the temperature outside and things like that. Being more conscious about things that impact my breathing so that I can play with Little Gamer longer. I have to give I have to give Quest for the Code a lot of credit though. Pretty much everything I know about my asthma and how to manage it effectively is a direct result of playing this game way back when I was 10. And it was nice to have a little refresher course in all of it. I am going to include a link in the description to the in-browser playable version of this game. The new version is a lot more approachable to kids uh, and I encourage you to try it yourself or share the game with an asthmatic in your life. Kids have fun and parents join them. If you are listening to this part, it means you watched the whole video, so thank you. That, or you just skipped to the end, which is a little odd, but also, thank you. You know the routine? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Here are links.